Welcome to Liam Ward Rank Up Series, where I only use Liam Ward to reach Mythic in solo queue with a win rate more than 70%. Valor and royalty in a dead body. In the first game, I was matched with a trio that had a marksman who constantly fed Bruno. I seriously don't like it when they match a trio with a solo player like me. But, when the enemy has a trio, they are usually very good. Whenever I get a win streak in ranked, I am more scared since there's definitely a bigger lose streak after that. The next game, I got a team with two junglers. This was another painful game from the beginning. I knew I am going to lose this game too, but I just still give my best. The team fight I showed was a part where we wanted because the enemies messed up. They ended the game after that easily. Then I got a game where the enemies just dodged. I should have stopped playing but I just continued. This is why I always tell to play less. Because the more we play, the more the game makes us lose. After that game, I was matched against a very good trio this time. By looking at this team fight, you might think my team plays pretty well. The problem is that they keep fighting and don't know to retreat. That's what separates good players from average players. You must know when to retreat too. Then as usual, it's just me trying to defend till the end. The funny thing is how overconfident the people are in solo queue. They would do anything other than hitting the base like this Gushan. Then my teammates go dive into team fights like immortal beings and we lose as usual. Gu Shun was thirsty to kill Nana so I just took him out along with me. Here's my history. One loss because of bad trio, one because of two junglers, then one game where the enemy was like my teammates, then the good trio enemy and another loss because of me not being able to focus anymore. I just exit MLBB and touched grass for two days and returned. Tor, I was against a couple in my lane, and I hate Angela. Burn in the infernal flames! My team was pretty good this game, and as the game progressed, I wanted to take out this Gushan so bad. I was more farmed than him, so was confident that I can win this fight. I have never been so happy killing an EXP Gushan. My team was pretty good in the team fights and we completely destroyed the enemies. The next game, I was against the Audette Johnson combo. 
This itself made me realize how the enemies are going to be. I was landing against the Roger and we were obviously winning every team fight. Surrender your Here's an average moment in this game where I am destroying underformed enemies. That was a very one-sided game and we won. The legend matchmaking has started to show its true colors now. This series will get more intense with this kind of matchmaking. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and stay hydrated.